Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this would be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman. At least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? <laughs> gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I don't talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Good enough. Move, move, move! Zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Good work, Spider Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. <laughs> Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise.
Peter. What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Come see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Yo, Pete. That aunt of yours is a saint. You're telling me. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Pardon me. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter.
All units, armed robbery reported. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe.
Must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Light on that one. Yo, Spider Man, we don't need you in this city. We got enough problems as it is. Perfect. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. 
Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me. Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Nicely, maybe. Catch. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. 
Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything under those masks! Wait! Did you say masks? These mask guys! What do they want the money for? Don't know! Don't care! As soon as I finish the job, I'm gone! on yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. I shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. <laughs> 